I shall now request Mr. Biju Kurian, Chairman Retailers Association of India, to welcome us to Retail Leadership Summit 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Biju Kurian. Thank you, and a very good morning to all you ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it certainly is my pleasure. I know it's always difficult to start a session at uh, 9, 9.30 in the morning in Mumbai because the city is so spread that it takes a fair amount of time for people to move in and come. But hopefully in the next half an hour to an hour, we should have a lot more people in this hall. So once again, welcome to the 2024 edition of the Retail Leadership Summit, the third that we are having in a physical form after the COVID pandemic. And I think from year to year, we seem to be going from strength to strength. So thank you once again for coming in here. A few thoughts that I'd like to share about what has been going, what has been happening in the industry in the course of the last one year since we met in February of 2023. We've seen a year which started quite well and continued well till about the third quarter of the financial year, which is around October of 2023. After October, we saw some stuttering in terms of sales, uh, especially affecting the apparel industry and the electronics industry. We also saw a slight slowdown in the online brands, what you might define as the D2C brands, and there was a slowdown for them. And what we also saw was a resurgence in the smaller towns, tier two and tier three and tier four cities, where we saw good demand, demand growing. At a economic level, we got affected to some extent by the uh, by the unpredictable monsoon which was there last year, which affected the uh, the production of several food grains and obviously rural incomes. Uh, also drove inflation up to some extent, but that kind of pinched consumers' pockets. But towards the latter part of the year, the calendar year, inflation declined. And with that, I think we also began to see an increase in the retail sales. The year this year, which is 2024, has started well. And what we've seen in the month of January and earlier, and also in the month of February so far, has been pretty good. Uh, there's been an ex there is also an extended wedding season. And because of the extended wedding season, we anticipate that retail sales will continue to do well uh, during the course of 2024, certainly over the tough time between March 15th to April 14th. Uh, there have been challenges for, for retailers uh, in terms of on several aspects. I think one of the most significant challenges for offline retailers has been the fact that uh, retail real estate has become expensive, uh, both in terms of cost as well as in terms of availability which has kind of limited their ability to expand as per what they had planned. We continue to see technology driving and creating inroads in the operations. And what was earlier a requirement during COVID to connect with consumers has now become an imperative for businesses to exist, operate. And it is clear that without technology that we will find it very difficult to move into the future. There was a lot of hype about AI, and I'm not suggesting that it is all hype, but what I'm saying is that there is a lot more that has been promised, there is a lot less that has been delivered, and we shall certainly see some use cases for AI as we go along. It's certainly on the technology agenda, is top of mind for a lot of the people who are in the retail business. And it's not just the retail business, but several other businesses. But as a technology, it's expected to make a lot of impact in our businesses in the future. In terms of categories, we are seeing some degree of polarization. And this is a trend that we have been noticing. 
and when I say noticing, it's about the fact that even in a category like apparel, what we are seeing is a sub thousand rupee brands and products doing extremely well and the luxury and the premium doing exceedingly well. And those which are in the middle seem to be the ones which are bearing the brunt of the slowdown. So maybe there is some understanding, some learnings, some lessons from what we are seeing in this and when you look at several other categories too, we are beginning to see the same. If I were to look at the automobile category, the lowest price segment seems to be the worst performing, whereas the mid and the upper seem to be doing very well. So you know there is a subtle difference in the way consumers are beginning to evaluate different categories and their attitudes towards spending in different categories. Uh, I met somebody who is in the luxury and the premium furniture space, a brand by the name of Stanley and I was amazed at the kind of numbers that they mentioned to me, in fact they are just going in for an IPO in the next 2-3 weeks. But the fact is that people come in today and spend almost half the price of an apartment in terms of just doing it up. So what we are seeing here is that there are upgradation in some segments, there is down trading in some of the segments and the customer is the same. So there is some behavioral trends that we need to be able to understand to be un to, to even figure out what we should do as far as our own businesses go. So the other more important thing which I think a lot of uh, retailers especially internationally are worried and thinking about is the impact that their businesses have on the environment, on the communities and on the world around them. Sustainability, ESG, whichever way you call it is today here to stay and while it's made a mark in several other industries, I'm sure that we in India will also begin to see it in retail. And it might not just be about the fact that you know it's about adopting sustainable packaging, but it will be about not just packaging products, what we call as scope one uh, carbon emissions, which is what we as retailers create scope two carbon emissions, which is about what is being created by our suppliers and our supply chain partners. So all of these will become more important in the years to go, but I would urge you to kind of think about it and figure out how should we plan in terms of gearing our businesses to cater to the needs of the changing consumer and the needs of the country in the future. So the next two days looks exceedingly interesting. We have a plethora of speakers, panel discussions, uh, various forms in which we have tried to create the interaction between the audience and the speakers or the panels and please make sure that you spend time in listening, absorbing, learning and also use this opportunity to network with the rest of your peer group who are here, learn from them because we in retail have very little theoretical knowledge, all that we do and learn is from what we see and whom we speak to. So please use these opportunities wisely in the next couple of days. Thank you and wish all of you all the very best in the next two days. Thank you.